Okay, um, I thought I would do a unboxing and first impressions of the Razer Viper V2 Pro. Now, I've owned Razer Viper mice before, and I didn't like them very much. They have buttons on, like, the left and the right side because they're ambidextrous, which is uncomfortable. And it's kind of specifically designed for, like, twitch flick shots in video games. So, I preferred the Razer Death Adder V2 Pro. In fact, I have two of them now because the first one, it, some, it sometimes does not charge. So I have to use it wired. So I decided just to go ahead and get another one. Um, and um, yeah, because it's on sale, like 60% off. This mouse, the, the Viper V2 Pro, is almost $200. And I... Did, I didn't like the Razer Viper shape that much, so I never bought the Ultimate version. Um, I just got rid of it and stuck to the Death Adder, but I don't know why I bought this. I plan on returning it. It's almost $200. It's ridiculous. Um, and like I said, I, I don't really like the shape of it, but... Oh my god, there's nothing in here. There's literally nothing in here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, it's very light. Uh, somebody said these these clicks are heavy. I don't think they're heavy. So uh, some people complain that it has a grinding sound. Like that's like a defect, but it's not. They all they all have a grinding sound. Maybe this one's a little bit louder, but okay. So yeah, this is light. Hmm. It feels maybe like it's a little bit shaped differently than your typical viper. Let me let me. It's under here because yeah, you you need something besides just the mouse. It's definitely boxed differently. Okay, so there's the wireless dongle. Okay, and then I'm sure like the cable is in here. Um, I'm not gonna open that. I'm just gonna plug the dongle in. To my pre-existing uh, stuff, so let me put this down. Okay. Um, okay. Let's just look at the mouse again. Okay, I gotta take this off. Okay. Um, I have to admit that the Death Adder is pretty heavy. Like you can feel like there's some center weight to it. It kind of it's kind of hard to pick up sometimes. Um, this is a lot lighter. Let me put it down. I don't know if it's going to be comfortable, but it does definitely feel different. It's a, it's really light. It's really light. It's got a power on. So. Okay, this is interesting. And then it's got like USB-C. So yeah, it's very light. It feels like there's nothing in it. It literally feels like there's nothing in it. So I'm going to try it and maybe make a comparison between the Death Adder. Um, it feels like it's literally just like a empty piece of plastic for $150. Okay, anyways, um... Stay tuned. I'll, 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 um, I'll actually attach. Just, I'm gonna play with it, and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys. So, give me one second. Okay, I'm gonna be giving my opinion for the Razer Viper V2 Pro. Um, I didn't originally like the original Viper. I thought it was not very ergonomic. Um... And I was never really fully that comfortable with it. Um, mainly because 
Um, we can see there's buttons on the side. On the previous version, it was on both sides because it was ambidextrous. So there were two side buttons over here, two side buttons over here. And that was very uncomfortable because your ring and your pinky finger would always be touching the buttons on the opposite side of the mouse. Um, so it wasn't really comfortable, you know, and um, that was one of my main complaints. Um, and once I got the Death Adder V2 Pro, this one is right-handed ergonomic. This one is ambidextrous. So since this is ergonomic, it's designed to be really good for comfort and especially palm grip where you put your entire palm on the mouse and you basically just rest your entire hand on it. And it almost feels like a soft lump of clay that is just molded to your hand and you can just lay your hand on it. Um, it's really good for general computer use. It's not, it, but you can also do claw grip uh, or fingertip grip really easily and it works um so it's not like you're you're trapped with just like palm grip um you can also see that it has this hump right here if you look at it from the back you can kind of see a hump right here and then it's kind of just rolls off it's like it's tilted okay so like there's a lot of there's a you know we can see on this side compared to this side, like there, there's basically this big hump right here, okay? And that allows your index, your index finger to, it raises your entire index finger uh, above your middle finger. So your, the, your left mouse button finger is kind of higher than your middle finger on the right mouse button. And, um, you know, it, it kind of, makes it a little bit harder to click, you know, to spam click, because you're, you're, just part of your hand is lifted up so much. It's comfortable, but, um, and even when you do claw grip, basically when you use the Viper, the Viper, we can see it's a lot lower, and it's, so we can see the, the Death Adder, is a lot fatter and raised off the ground a bit more. It, it really fills out your hand and it, it feels like you're holding onto a big lump of clay. Um, it kind of slows you down. That's the main thing. It kind of slows you down. You don't feel like you want to click as fast or aggressively. You don't want to like flick shot and twitch, you know, aim. You kind of just want to chill. That's where this one comes in, the Viper V2 Pro. This one encourages a more aggressive claw grip to hold it like this. So it's, it's a more aggressive, you know, and you can kind of move it around like this. So this one it really encourages you to click fast and to, to flick shot. Um, it's not about like filling out your hand and uh, like a big lump of clay. This is more like rigid. It's more like if you if you hold it palm grip, your index, I mean your ring and your pinky finger don't really have a spot to sit to rest. It can kind of feel pinched together almost like you know your fingers are scrunched together. So if we look, this is ambidextrous. It's it's symmetrical on both sides. This one is right-handed ergonomic. It's asymmetrical. Okay. So it's, can, can you palm grip it? Yeah, but it gets fatiguing. It gets fatiguing, I think, because there's this little, like there's just, it's not, it's not filled out on this side. You know, it's not bulged out. So your your ring and your pinky finger don't really have a spot to rest. So you kind of, you know, you kind of pull it back, pull it back to a claw grip. And I honestly, over the past year or two that I've been using the Death Adder, have been a, I, I hated the Viper, mainly because it had like buttons on both sides. Um, 
after I used this mouse, um, I think I actually may switch to it. I can't believe I'm saying that. I, I, I just, I didn't like the Viper because it had buttons on, you know, it had these side buttons on both sides, kind of like the, the G Pro Wireless by Logitech. So this is kind of like, you know, the super light G Pro Wireless, maybe a little bit lower profile. Um, so the G Pro Wireless kind of fills out your hand too. This, this one kind of doesn't. This it encourages, you know, a very aggressive claw grip. And some people say that, you know, it could still have the, the rise to fill out your hand more so it's not so empty. Like they have all this empty space. So can you really tell that this mouse is lighter than this mouse? Um, not really when you're using it because both of them on a hard mouse pad, they glide about the same. They're very fast. It's only when you pick this one up, it's kind of like, oh, there's a huge battery in it or something. You know, it's definitely this has some weight to it and it, you know, it kind of throws you off. This one, it, it, it actually does have weight to it, but it's not as bad. But it, I don't know, it just doesn't, it, it's definitely better. You know, this one kind of slams down. It's pretty loud. This one, not so much. So also... The Viper has always actually had really loud, snappy clicks. And, the, you know, the Death Adder has always been a bit softer. So, you know, these are a little bit harder, a little bit snappier. Um, it's, a, it's a bit easier to click spam. You do feel faster. And honestly, this seems like a different mouse than the Razer Viper Ultimate and, you know, the previous versions of the Razer Viper because, I don't know, they felt a little bit different, honestly. They had rubber sides, they had the buttons on both sides. Um, this, honestly, it feels like a completely different mouse. Obviously, it's, you know, it's got a similar shape, um, it's very, it's very smooth. There's a cat trying to get in. Um, I really like it. Um, to my surprise, I'm probably going to keep it. And honestly, you can feel that this mouse encourages you to perform faster. It encourages you to click more aggressively. And when I switch back to the Death Adder, it kind of slows me down. Um, I immediately, am, I feel a little bit like overwhelmed, like, oh my God, it's going to be hard to click because I don't know, my hand is just in such a relaxed state and, you know, my index finger feels lifted. Um, it just kind of makes it like, it's kind of like you're kind of reaching, you know, it's like, I don't know, it, it feels like you have less torque. Basically, it feels like you have more torque. You know, you have more aggressive, more power. And, and this kind of takes away a lot of that torque that your finger has. It kind of puts it in a position where it, it's a little bit more strenuous. But at the same time, it kind of, you know, just encourages you to be more laid back. So for palm grip, you know, this side is really good. For that ring and pinky finger to rest and this mouse is more claw grip so you know um so uh, I, I honestly i i talked about this a long time ago that you should probably have a right-handed ergonomic and a ambidextrous symmetrical mouse on your mouse pad at all times for when you want a very relaxed, you know, palm grip or a more rigid, more aggressive claw grip for gaming. So gaming, general computer use. Palm grip, more aggressive claw grip. Because I think if you try to do a more laid back palm grip on the Viper, it's going to be uncomfortable, especially for your ring and pinky finger. 
because there's no place for it to rest. Um, you know, and if I, I think they're both great, I love the Death Adder. Um, I, again, this is a quick review. I only used the Viper for like one match of a video game. And, you know, I switched back to the Death Adder and I, I felt a bit slower, a bit, a bit more overwhelmed. The clicks are a little bit softer. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it for this video. Um, so far, I think I may actually keep this near $200 Razer Viper V2 Pro. I was not planning on keeping it, but I do feel like it, it works. It's not, it's not bad, per se. Um, again, um, you have to be a little bit more uh, aggressive with how you hold it. Um, I don't know for sure if it's going to be my new main mouse, but it just really encourages a more aggressive style, which, you know, can make you play a little bit faster and maneuver a little bit quicker. But this one, you just put your hand on it and it's just like, oh my God, it's so comfy. So the Death Adder is still insane. Um, Viper... Even right now when I'm holding it, I feel like, you know, I have a little bit of more pressure points. You know, I'm holding it with like the, you know, the very small parts of my finger. You know, I have like all these, I have like five pressure points, you know. Um, while over here, you have a lot more contact with the mouse. Um, your entire hand is basically touching it. But again, you can do claw grip and it's actually very easy to do claw grip as well. So I highly recommend the Death Adder V2 Pro, but if you want a little bit more aggressive, faster clicks, you know, flick shots, um, you know, snappier clicks even, give this a try. Um, but I, I do think you should get this one over the Viper Ultimate, uh, the ones that have the buttons on both sides. Um, I don't, I don't like those at all. I got rid of that one. I may keep this one. So far, so good. It is a improvement. Is it going to be my new main mouse? It could possibly be. I don't know for sure. But I do feel like this one is the more professional gamer mouse. Um, because it does encourage more aggressive gameplay. <laughs>